just getting our walls insulated. The good news on that is we passed inspection for framing, plumbing, electrical, and rough end heat, which means we can insulate it. So we've got most of our bat insulation put into the walls and we've got poly going up, uh, moving towards getting drywall installed. And our next big goal and deadline is to get all drywall installed in here before the end of the second quarter, which is January 19th or so. Here's some highlights from where we were last to this point. Okay, everyone, we are here with Steve Gilmore, plumbing instructor from the Technical College. Uh, his crew showed up today to do rough in plumbing. Best day of the year of Best November. Best day of the year, yeah. weather wise, we're just having a great day. Yeah. yeah, last year it was like 10 degrees, freezing yeah. cold, last week of the quarter. So we were ahead, which is good. But what they're doing, putting all this piping in, this is rough in, all stuff that we wouldn't see after the fact. Just break, just pieces, that's it, America. Oh my goodness. You got a nice seal with the silicon. Throw it across the top. Craig Fisher of St. Cloud Technical College, you're back for year three. Yes. And uh, you've got your electrical crew in here. Yep. Started about an hour ago. I think we're like two weeks ahead of schedule from last year. Yeah, this is actually really nice. We got good weather outside. Um, yes. You can't complain. We don't need to run any heaters in here. We can listen to the music. Um, actually, you got good timing. We kind of got everybody kind of situated what they're doing. And you can see they're all busy. I've got 21 students in here today. Um, we should hopefully be done. About, about noon. Um, basically noon is kind of when we, we plan to be done. Um, we'll do a, an official walkthrough at the end, kind of a quick little debriefing at the end. I got the grill in the back of the truck. Um, we're gonna uh, grill up some venison and have a little barbecue out here in the parking lot. Um, kind of a little appreciation for these guys working hard. I think I can get you guys to stop talking about great books and work on great yeah, houses. I got construction. Great houses? Yeah. So we got one edge tack turn around the other one that edge. Oh yeah. And then we're trying to tack this other edge. It's better to walk that loose. We want to pull this so it goes straight across the room. Knuckle the plastic up like this and then pull. And you, if you look back now, I'm going to stretch either way until this is pulled straight across the middle. So, like that right there, I've got no wrinkles across the middle. I would tack it then down this. Hard to breathe? Oh yeah. This stuff is harder to breathe than That's because it's fiberglass. Yeah. Nah, you, know. you could put a mask on.
looks, so do you want us to go? Are we taking this whole sheet off? Looks like a couple of footholes. Hang on, we gotta get <laughs> up periscope. This uh, this house have a do they plan to have a sunroof in it? You don't wanna say that. Someday it's gonna be a would, <laughs> would you consider a version of hell if we just made you walk up into the attic and walk through the ceiling again? Like over and over and then replace the panel and walk. We have one more full sheet. So you could do it two more times. Oh, I wouldn't want to do it anymore. It's not a, it's not a, it's something you want to repeat? No. no. It, it's more of a one time. In retrospect, you've had 24 hours to, well, 18 hours to reflect on this. I've just grown so much. I learned how to perfectly realize it, I guess. Uh-huh. Steve would be proud. Production value! And just like that, it's quiet. SaberCon 3 crew hit their mark at the end of second quarter. We've got our drywall ready for high end drywall to come in and finish out sometime between now and the start of fourth quarter. And Steve was great. I have to shout out to Steve Heinen uh, for helping so much this time around with students going from, I don't know how to do drywall to I got this. And there was a few pitfalls along the way, literally. Uh, we had people going through the ceiling a little bit, but we got that all figured out. We're insulated and ready to put this to bed for the rest of winter. Uh, we'll see you back April 3rd to start the fourth quarter.